Kulusevski is De Bruyne of Ange. He's that Mr. Versatility for Ange and he's like the perfect team player. If he can't, you know, play dirty and win those 1-0 scrappy wins, it's not going to click for him. I think Ange coaches the best attack in the league. Yeah. I feel like it's not because of the scoreline, just because of how good it is to watch. Yeah. And, it's and, so and easy on the eye. Yeah. It's so easy on the eye. It's just it's, like, I think Spurs and Liverpool are my two favorite teams to watch when they are like yeah. on point and then they want to yeah. score. They're like, their attack is just so fluid. It's a dangerous game that they play, like we all know. <laughs> uh, and then like how it comes back to bite them. But I don't know, there's, there's something about his football, dude. Like that is just easy on the, the eye. The vibes. Yeah. And also, we all know it's not sustainable. So it's like, <laughs> like we don't care. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> when it comes yeah. off, it looks so good. So it's just a beautiful game. And I love it. Um, yeah, I think, to be honest, I was, I mean, we've seen it before, but for his first goal, the amount of distance Son covered and closed up. I don't think I've ever seen that much distance being covered and closed up for a goal from the to the keeper. It was, it actually felt like Pickford moved five yards and <laughs> Son covered 25. It, it was was yeah. out of the world like he was just there and Pickford just couldn't realize what was happening and then you realize like how slow keepers are <laughs> like <laughs> all these shit bags are just like bag of potatoes who can't really move but the thing they're the fastest people on the on the pitch mm-hmm. but yeah uh, and then they suffered but then from there it was a downhill do you think Kulusevsky is De Bruyne of Ange of, or, of Spurs I mean the thing is Kulu plays so many roles occupy so many positions on the field like that I feel like he has he's He's their best tool. Is Ange's best tool available to in his tool shed? Because when he's on the bench, I feel like he's. I've seen him deploy him as the you know middle of mid- midfield attacking option, right winger. I'm uh-huh. also. I'm pretty sure I've seen him on the left side of the pitch too. I feel like he's that Mister Versatility for Ange, and he's like the perfect team player, dude. Like he is always looking for to lay the balls on to someone else to score. He's so underrated, man. Like, and I feel like they got him for so cheap too. Yeah. Like I, I can't believe that the league just like let us have some of these players for that price yeah. even the Mickey Van Der Ven he looks so good like he's so quick he's just so 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 quick I'm like he's the know, fastest player dude, dude yeah in, he's in just the like he's, he's a tall he's a tall lanky dude and he's just like covering so much ground I'm, I'm amazed I'm amazed by some of these finds that they have but at the end of the day it just doesn't look sustainable and uh, if we don't have to go too far back we just have to go to going game week one if they don't score two goals they can never win a 1-0 game I don't yeah. think mm. they can ever win a 1-0 game because it's not the brand of football that they play it's not going to be sustainable either if they if they they need a two goal cushion to win the game and that is the problem that is the biggest problem that Spurs have for all the best attacks that Ange can coach in the world if he can't you know play dirty and win those 1-0 scrappy wins it's not going to click for him and the ceiling for that unfortunate reason is probably going to be a top four finish and is never going to be like that guy winning them the trophies I know he thinks that in the second season he's going to win trophies and cup but it's the same problem that he's going to have in like cup football too because there's a lot more emotion like and some days it doesn't click like we've seen NBA like in basketball also Steph Curry has off nights where he can't shoot three pointers everyone yeah. every team will face with those things and they don't have a plan B and unfortunately in any of those plans it doesn't involve like defensive solidarity sitting back you know all the best teams including City we've seen last season have sat back defended and like you know saw results out and somehow thinks that he can just win the games with attack and that is their biggest problem unfortunately who was it that said attack wins your games defense wins your leagues I think somebody somebody had Ferguson said this oh, oh, Ferguson Ferguson Ferguson. Ferguson. yeah I think that your, is the Achilles heel manager of, bro. What are you my saying? manager Ferguson my Ferguson. gaffer yeah. yeah but like just to give <laughs> I, I, some credit to uh, Ange I think like he inherited a squad which was just suddenly devoid of Harry Kane after all those years where he was the biggest goal scorer for the team and even then you know they managed to score so many goals they in fact score more goals than the season Harry Kane was there and he played for them just the fact that getting to manage a squad in a way that you know you're scoring goals so fluidly so easily despite leaking goals that's fine we don't even evaluate Ange in a way we evaluate Ten Hag I feel at this point because like the kind of club that you manage also tends to you know color the lens by which you're evaluating them but sure like Tottenham playing good football beautiful football is good for the league I, I, I enjoy watching Tottenham games and I'm glad Ange is there and like keeping the good footballing dream alive and, and quickly I don't think I would end up going there yeah I, I, I think it's just I think they have yeah it's just two games firstly they are shit but they've been shit 
ஆஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட்ரேலியாஸ்ட